What's up guys? Today we're looking at the Movie Maker set. This was sent to me by Grip Gear. And you're probably asking what is the Movie Maker set? Well, it is a portable slider and panoramic head and it is motorized. It comes with a remote control and it has eight different speeds. Well, actually it has two different modes and on the low mode it has six speeds and on the high mode it has eight speeds now they do have a weight limit on this of 700 grams horizontally and 550 grams vertically but i'd like to exceed the limits and i did a little research on this the reason why they have set those weights is because of the ball head and they do not want to be liable uh, for going over 700 grams and something happening. Well, I actually took some vice grips and tightened down the included ball head and placed my own Joby head on it and used my Panasonic GH5 with the lens that weighs well over 700 grams and I'm getting awesome results. Now if you look on the side, you'll see two little red buttons and that's for when it reaches the end of the track, it pushes or depresses on the button and it will switch directions. And also, if you look here, there's a little blue gear and we can pull that out and when we have that pulled out, we're able to move it manually. So if you don't, if maybe you need a faster slide, you can pull that out and get your faster slide. Now on the bottom is where you'll find the off and the low and the high modes. Uh, low, like I said, has six different speeds and high has eight different speeds. I usually use it on high around speed seven or eight when I'm going to do video. And when I'm doing time lapses, just depending on how long I want it to be, I'll go anywhere from one to uh, four. And they do suggest if you're going to use this vertically, which I haven't really used too much, that you use the higher speed. So I guess it just has a little bit more power. Now this does run off of two AAA batteries, but it has a USB port on the side. So if you wanted to use a battery pack, uh, you can do that as well. Now to turn this into a panoramic head, you'll need this little piece that it comes with and it just snaps onto the side. And then there's a quarter thread at the bottom so you can attach it to a tripod and then you would just use the remote and change the speeds and it works the same as it were sliding but you're just going to be spinning instead of sliding. So let's talk about build quality. It is very lightweight and by no means built like a tank. There are a lot of plastic pieces. The main track itself is aluminum, but the legs are plastic and then you have the screws that tighten down the legs. So if you have any pressure pushing down on this like more than the weight they recommend, you're gonna see a little bit of flexing, which you can definitely tell if you're on unlevel ground. Now things that I will do, I'll find something like a table or a board and I will set it directly on that and that way I can get my slides. But I have read that some people are having trouble where the track connects as one. And personally, I have not experienced this. It's very smooth when it rolls over the joint. Uh, but something that they could do is sell a longer track that didn't break down. It was just one solid long track and I think that would be really awesome. And if they put maybe some metal feet on here or a better way to level out the slider, I think that would make it a lot better too. And this is remote control, but my only complaint with that is that the sensor, sometimes the camera covers up the sensor, so you have to kind of point the remote directly at that sensor. Um, so it would be nice if you didn't have to so much do that. Maybe they could uh, make it Bluetooth or something. But overall, I think it's an excellent slider. I like that it has the versatility to turn into a panoramic head. It can definitely slide and move a lot slower than my hands can and a lot steadier. So I like that. Now I might do some modifications, make like the ball head a little bit more permanent and be able to use my Joby head. And then I might mount it to an actual board or a bar, something that's a little bit more solid. So if I do add more weight, 
uh, like heavier cameras, then I won't get any flex on the legs. But if you're going to use this thing for a phone or a GoPro or any lightweight cameras, I don't think you're going to find a better slider in this price range. So I'll put a link in the description, and that's that. Thanks for watching.